Well, good afternoon to you and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Matt Morrow. We begin with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke and your forecast. Kristen, couldn't be a better afternoon out there. Oh, it's beautiful out today. So if you like the nice warm weather, enjoy it today because we do have changes moving in tomorrow. For today, mainly sunshine for central and southern New Mexico. We will see the cloud cover start to building, build in a bit for our northern mountains in northeastern New Mexico. There's a system moving by to our north and also a front. It's going to bring in a cool down across eastern and central New Mexico for tomorrow. Tomorrow, anywhere from 15 to 25 degrees cooler. And we'll watch for some showers in our northern mountains, northeast and east central New Mexico. We we may even get a few showers down toward Roswell for tomorrow. Seven day forecast for Albuquerque. Our rain chances will be slim. There will be the slight chance later tomorrow for that cooler, low to mid 60s for the next few days, and then another warm up for the end of the week. All right, in your news this afternoon, Las Cruces Public Schools are now working on a new way for students to report bullying and other trouble anonymously. This, according to the Las Cruces Sun News, a new program in the works would let kids send text, photos, and videos to school leaders with an app on their cell phones. It's called the TipSoft program. It's backed by Dr. Martin Greer, the school district's lead psychologist. It's set to launch in the next school year. Well, things are back to normal in the North Valley now after a suspicious package caused a lot of activity there overnight. Burn Leo County Sheriff's deputies tell us they shut down this area near the North Valley Command Center. It's off 4th Street, just north of Osuna, about 930 last night. We're told someone dropped off a box of chemicals at the command center wanting to get rid of them. Deputies were a little surprised by that, didn't know what they were. It's called the hazmat team. Turns out those chemicals were not dangerous. Well, make sure you stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. You can always get the latest here on KRQE.com. We'll see you tomorrow.